Hey everyone, so it's practice vlog number four, I think it is. Um, so we had a gig uh, the day before yesterday, Friday, at Nolan, supporting Thunder Pussy from the USA. <laughs> Great gig, uh, it was lots of fun, uh, and I got to try out my brand new pedal board uh, for this occasion, which was great. So this new board that I put together um, basically contains all of the things that I've been using for a while, um, but that I've been like putting together on stage every gig, and now I've got it all on pretty much one table. Um, and I'm gonna explain it a bit now for you, uh, as uh, in contrast to practicing licks for you. A uh, quick update on the lick though. Uh, the tapping lick for that song that I've been talking about for three weeks now. Uh, the first part. That part. I've actually changed the B to that one instead of that one. Um, I find it a bit easier actually to go for that one instead of going um, it allows for more consistency. So that's a discovery that I just made. I think I tried it out first yesterday, so the day after the gig. But I think I'm gonna go with that instead of uh, going for that beat. I'm gonna go for playing like that in the A as well. Maybe the F sharp, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, so the setup now. Uh, starts off with my Yamaha edited bass. I'm currently just using the P style pickup. The reason for that is not um, that I prefer it that way. It's because I only have one wireless as of now. And because the Relay G70 is currently discontinued uh, or not available, I should say, here in Europe, which is a bummer. So I've only got one wireless uh, as of now, so I'm sticking with just one pickup uh, for now. So hopefully that will resolve itself in a while. I hope so. So it started off with the bass, just the P pickup going into the Relay G70. Then I'm going into the Line 6 Helix uh, LT. And in the Line 6 Helix I have my preset going. And in the preset I've got an effects loop, which is effects loop number 2, due to the fact that if I should get myself a second wireless, I will be able to incorporate that input into return number one. Yeah, the complicated, but that's how it is. So in the effects loop, I've got, it all starts off with the Belichian Signature Drive Deluxe from EBS, which has my custom foot switch for distortion off and on in it. Uh, after that, I'm going into the Darkless B3K, the version two. Uh, which is set for a pretty low drive, which is a bit of a Steve Harris, Geddy Lee type growl rather than a full on distortion. So after B3K, I'm going into the Alpha Mega Ultra, with, which has this EQ going for it, uh, which you can probably make out what that means. Uh, and I'm using the distortion of that one as well for some thingies. Um, and after that, I'm going into the Dark Less Super Symmetry Compressor and then back into the Helix. And that's pretty much the setup. Uh, that I'm using here on this pedal board. It's powered by the Kiosk uh, DC5 power supply, uh, which is rock solid. Uh, and uh, I've been using these Kiosk uh, power supplies for like four years or something now, so uh, I really, really like them. They're super solid. Uh, and this preset goes out through the quarter inch output and into my Darkless M900 amp which I used on the gig now uh, at Nolan. It sounded spectacular. The Helix also works as the audio interface for my keyboard sounds, uh, which are running through the two XLR outputs. So the things that a Helix are doing is, one, it serves as the audio interface, and it also serves as a foot controller for my I don't know if you can see it here, but here on my computer I got the main stage going and by the flick of a switch I can change my presets. 
by tapping my feet instead of running up to the computer and pressing the arrow down, uh, which is really handy. And I've got an organ, uh, let's see, we've got an organ preset. And we've got a sitar. Uh, that preset has a lot of like things going. It's got some strings and a sub bass and some percussion as well to give it some more flair. And then I <laughs> just started developing this preset. For some reason I got really into, well not for some reason, I love that album. I got really into uh, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son by Iron Maiden and I went to make something uh, close to the keyboard sounds that they were using on that album. So it's an approximation, it's still a work in progress. Uh, anyways, and then after that we got the big subby boom that I'm using at the end of songs and uh, such for a massive impact and punch to the gut for the audience. Used this setup live this Friday, as I said, and it worked great. One thing that Patrick mentioned to me was, hey, wouldn't it be great if you could control the Leslie of the keyboards so that it would change a bit during the organ parts and whatnot. Uh, and I said, yeah, that would be really cool if I could assign that to the foot switch which I now have, so I'm just gonna step on that one. So now it's expression pedal two, and I'm hitting the organ. So I've assigned the mod wheel of main stage to the foot switch to expression pedal number one, and then Expression pedal number two. Sir, so it's a volume controller. Uh, which might come in handy sometimes when you just want to fade out the keyboard part and why not. Um, I've also got the volume pedal option for my bass, which is powered on by this foot switch. Uh, so they don't... Um, mess with each other if it's not activated, so to speak. Um, another thing that I, I did uh, was that uh, expression pedal 2 is all the way down, the volume is all the way down, and here it's set to pretty much zero, boost, cut, whatnot, whatever. Uh, the expression pedal, which is uh, expression pedal number one, which is linked to the mod wheel, is all the way off when it's all the way up and all the way up when it's all the way down, so it's inverted, uh, which allows me to go between uh, the different thingies uh, a bit more fluent, so that I don't accidentally turn off the volume uh, when I want to adjust the mod wheel uh, and vice versa. So there it is. So this is my new setup. Um, it's a bit heavy. <laughs> It's better on the heavy side. The pedal board has wheels on it, uh, which are really uh, useful. It has a big case which fits my laptop and all of the ex external cables and uh, such. So that's a huge plus for me. Uh, and it just sounds great and so consistent. And I love the fact that I can just carry it up out of the bag and place it on the floor and it's good to go. So there's my big ass rig that I've got going now and I'm really really happy with it and I don't think I'll change change it out for quite a while uh, hopefully you never know but considering how good it sounds and how well it works uh, I'm probably gonna stick to this I might uh, add a second wireless for the woofer pickup as well I would really love to do that because it's a huge part of this bass but we'll see so with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.